In this lecture, we'll be covering Ruby on Rails architecture. Ruby on Rails architecture is based on MVC architecture. M stands for model, which is the data objects that we use. One common example is the data in our database can be treated as a model. Then we have view, which is the presentation layer, and it comprises of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Then we have controller. Controllers are responsible for processing and responding to user actions, like clicking on buttons or links. And controllers control the interaction with our model and our views. In short, controllers handles decisions. Now to see the difference between a normal web architecture and MVC, here you can see that in a normal web architecture, we have a browser which communicates with the page. The page might be communicating to a database and then getting the results from the database and sending it to the browser. So here, this page is actually one big piece of code which does everything. So maintaining that becomes very cumbersome. Now with the MVC architecture, whenever browser has to get something, it will call the controller which handles decision making. The controller then communicates or sends that request to the model which is responsible for handling data and it gets the data from the database, sends it back to the controller. The controller then passes that to the view which handles presentation and that's what we saw in the previous slide. The presentation layer consists of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. The view then sends that to the browser and it displays the result to the user. Now here in Ruby on Rails the MVC is termed like this. Model is termed as active record, view as action view, and controller as action controller. Sometimes you'll also see a word saying action pack, which is nothing but combination of action controller and action view. So that was all about the MVC architecture and Ruby on Rails.